Hi, this is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network. We're here at DevOx talking to members of the Java community, and I have Java EE expert Arun Gupta with me here. Hi, Arun. Hi, Tori. How are you doing? I'm doing very well, thank you. So your um, position in the community has changed a little bit, so why don't you tell us about that? Yeah, I'm uh, the new director for developer advocacy for Red Hat now. I'm responsible for the developer evangelism effort for anything which is middleware at Red Hat. So yes, the companies have changed, uh, but pretty much the technology and the passion very much stays alike. Right, right, yeah, you're still in our pond and I really appreciate that. Thank um, you. So tell me, you did a bunch of sessions here, tell me a little bit about those. Yeah, so the, one of the first sessions was on Monday actually, which I did with Antonio Goncalves, who is Paris drug leader, very qualified person, There's a lot of things that can go after him. Uh, but that was a university session on Java E7, um, it was in the biggest room of the conference, about 700 people could sit in that room, and the room was, I would say, 90% packed. Um, <clears throat> and then uh, later on, we were actually looking at the statistics, we had a live interaction from the audience from Twitter. There were about 98 questions that were asked during that three-hour university session. So a lot of interesting questions, you know, a lot of philosophies being discussed, design patterns being discussed. So that was pretty um, interesting. And then in addition to that, I also did a hacker garden on Tuesday. So these are like a bunch of samples that I've created, and the idea was to kind of build unit tests for those. So there were about, again, eight to 10 people, impromptu who just showed up, and they helped us build those unit tests. Now these guys, they learn new tools like Archelian, I taught them technology, and then uh, we had about 50 plus unit tests created as part of that. So I mean, at Red Hat, we say community-powered innovation, and that was really what it was. Now we have these sort of a unit tests that are ready. You could run them on Glassfish or uh, Wildfly or any other Java E7 compliant server, sort of a resource for the community. Mm -hmm. And then the last two things that I did, one was the Java E7 hands-on lab. Now DevOps has always been a challenge for me. So like I created this content for like 60 pages, hoping people would last for like three hours hopefully but there were folks who started finishing an hour and a half. <laughs> so I guess next year I'm going to What a problem to have, right? Isn't it? <laughs> yeah, so uh, well, I guess in the beginning of the session I said, you know, people who finish first, I'm going to offer them my signed book. So it's like, oh man, it was a race. <laughs> it was a race. And so, but exciting, very happy feeling that people were able to finish it and a lot of good questions. And earlier today I did a session on JSR 356 on Java API for WebSocket. Um, and I would say about 50% room was full, so still a lot of good questions. Excellent, so tell me about EE7, it's been out for a while, what are you seeing in terms of adoption? Yeah, I mean, uh, Glassfish is the only compliant application server today, and this is a reference implementation, so definitely very high respect for it in that sense. Um, in general, you know, every, anywhere and everywhere I presented on Java EE7, huge, huge community feedback, mm -hmm. very, and positive I mean. Good. So, for example, I was in Romania Jug last year, last week. Um, their typical attendance is about 60 to 80 people. They had 135 people for that Jug meetup, and that's sort of the typical meetups that I'm seeing everywhere we're talking about Java E7. So, I think Java E6 was a very, very important, significant step for us, where Oracle actually built the platform in such a beautiful way, and it took us some time to kind of start putting the messages out in the community. But I think Java E7, as you say, you know, hit the head on the nail, or hammer on the head. <laughs> 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 hit the hammer on the head, and it's like, really, people are getting the message across. And I think the important part being, it is also has some key technologies, like WebSocket, Batch, which kind of people connect with their day-to-day -day needs. So it's like their needs are being solved, platform is modern, it's serving their requirements, enterprise-centric, what else, you know, this, it's a beautiful combination. Great, so tell me a common question you get about EE7. Um, <laughs> of the recent Oracle news, for example. <laughs> yes. You want to talk about that? Yeah, sure, yeah. why not? <clears throat> so one of the common questions people typically ask is, oh, now Glassfish, uh, like literally in the university day somebody asked me, so Glassfish has no commercial support now, what do you think about this? I said, guys, important part is to recognize that Glassfish has always been the RI, and it will right. always be the RI no matter what happens to it, show respect for that. And I'm glad actually Oracle made that decision in that sense because I've been through Sun, coming from Sun, I appreciate it a lot more. Because that's the reason you know, Sun went down and Oracle will not go down. So I think that to me is very, very important and I'm glad Oracle made that decision. 
Um, so that is very important. And in terms of other features, like people ask for, like, okay, when do I see no SQL support in there? When do I see caching in there? I don't know, how could we make the process lightweight, more transparent? So for example, yesterday, we had a Java E community gathering um, at DevOps. And there we were talking about how can we open up the process more? So I guess there is a lot of hunger, even though we did a lot of transparency in JCP 2.9, right. there is still a lot of hunger on people, I want to contribute more, participate more. So, so that is good. So there's more work to do. Absolutely. Right? Excellent, mm -hmm. and maybe adopt a JSR as a way to get it, people involved, and maybe there's yeah. other streams we can open up. And right? I think that's the whole <coughs> benefit of JCP, because once you build that infrastructure, when we build the infrastructure, we may not realize how people are going to use it. They come up with unique ideas. Oh, I can do this. Yeah, of course. Because right. it's about all community-powered innovation. Wow. Well, Arun, I'm sure mm. glad you dropped by, and I'm glad you're still in the community and working on Java EE. We definitely need you. So thanks very much. Thank you. This is Tori Wheel with the Oracle Technology Network.